I noticed research coming out about the fact that music has been discovered to be in a lot of parts of the brain, and therefore it engages so much of us. It's an exciting time in neuroscience where we're beginning to understand how the brain interacts with the environment, and music is a really important part of the environment. And we're starting to learn ways in which music can influence all kinds of other aspects of one's brain function, and especially how we could use that information to use music therapeutically in an even more powerful way. This initiative aims to bring together communities that haven't necessarily gotten to know each other that well yet, the neuroscientists uh, and the actual composers, performers, musicians who have the full grasp of the power of music and the variety of different styles. Renee, thank you so much for coming in to do this experiment with us today. Could I give you a tour yeah, of yeah, some of the see, parts yeah, of the brain we please. might see activity in? Mm -hmm. So this is one place we'll look for activity in your scan. Um, it's the part of your brain that we call the motor cortex. It controls everything in your body. When you're singing, you're also speaking. Um, and so we're going to look for activity in some of the parts of your brain that are important for forming speech. This one here is called Broca's area, and there's another one farther back called Wernicke's area. You know, if you have injuries in either one of these parts of the brain, then you can't form normal speech. So this is the auditory cortex. There's a spot near the middle where the information sort of starts, and then as you move outward, it's processing the information more and more. I think we're ready to get you set up in the scanner. Great. Ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're going to start our first scan. We're starting to learn ways in which music can influence all kinds of other aspects of one's brain function, and especially how we could use that information to use music therapeutically. What does the brain look like when somebody is speaking? Okay, there's certain parts that are lit up. What does it look like if they're performing music? Other parts lit up, you're using more of your brain. If we could learn from that about how to fully empower people to use that creative talent that we're all born with, but oftentimes gets kind of pushed to the side by daily activities, I think that would be pretty amazing. And maybe this project can help with that.